So I'll also pick the piece of parchment. Mm -hmm. If I'm done searching him, I'm going to come over here and search this dude. Alright. Uh, I just go to search him. His weapons look kind of meh. Um, he only had two gold pieces on him, and... Um, it looks like something folded up really nicely into a little pocket. I'll take that. And as you're kind of sc scourging through that guy's body and making a racket, you hear um, a voice a couple of feet from you. Um, excuse me if... We'll get to you in a moment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Since they're all searching bodies, I'll kindly walk over and start freeing the prisoners. Sorry, with the person with the one that almost got killed? <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, do you undo his hands better. first, or do you undo his, uh, bag first? I'm going to take the, the thing off his head first, but as I'm pulling it off, I'm going to say, please don't freak out. And I pull it off his head. <laughs> Alright, so before I get to that, uh, Crusher, as you look over the other guys, you notice that the two that were, um, Kind of beefy, and you were kind of swinging one of them around. Uh, they weren't really, really carrying much on them or wearing much at all. Um, the only thing that appeared interesting was, I mean, they were wearing some really nice animal skins, but they're kind of soiled with a lot of blood right now. Mm. All right, I dumped those bodies into the hole. Oh god! Uh, then, as you look over the last guy. Um, the one that tried to make, make friendly. Um, as you begin searching through his pockets, uh, uh, you do find um, you're not sure why he has this, but he has a single domino piece. It's the one with the number one on both sides. I'm going to... Like, put it in my mouth and like slowly chew to see if it does anything. Uh, as you slowly kind of try to kind of chew and see if it's crushable, you notice you can't seem to break this. Um... As I finish, uh, as I say, as I finish up searching this dude, mm -hmm. uh, I walk over to the uh, prisoner. As you walk over to the other prisoner, finally? Yeah. Um, okay, be, like, as you go to, like, start doing him, his stuff, I just, like, grab your hands, turn you around, put the domino piece in it. Magic man. Magic thing. After. And I turn back and I... Continue praying the first All right, one quick second here. I'm just gonna draw a purple thing over the bodies I'm taking, but I'll get to the rest after we search them. Now that I have something for this. Why are you collecting bodies? We have to prove that we have that we um, actually killed the bandit. So bring the bodies. Yeah. Wasting more time so Kita can't get his bag. <laughs> oh, I'll get it one way or another. And there's two bodies that haven't been searched. He wants healed, he'll be patient. Alright. Uh, yeah. I don't need heal, we're not in combat anymore. I don't know, these prisoners might attack us.
So, uh, how about that weather? <laughs> Alright, let me change this real quick here. So, now I got a picture of that one. Um, so, Oriana, as you remove the uh, bag from this gentleman's head, um, you see uh, underneath the bag he has uh, about, about kind of short to medium black hair. A lot of it kind of comes over to the right side of his head. Uh, just a little bit on the left. Um, and he just kind of looks at you and he's got these uh, kind of fairly bright green eyes. Okay. He just stares at you. Says no words. Okay. I'm gonna untie your hands now. And I go and untie his hands. As you untie his hands, he kind of waits till your hands are uh, away from his. And you see him start kind of like touching his hands and his wrists. And you can see him look back at you again and goes, Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Yeah, because I dropped both of them. I was just making sure that I put down that I grabbed them. Oh, the spine devil. Yeah, and you see as you uh, as you kind of you know just release his uh, his hands, he's now just kind of looking around at the mess. You uh, you all certainly did some work. And me freeing the other one. Okay. Um, and as you begin to free the other one, um, this first thing you notice, uh, as you uncover the bags, a uh, uh, woman, short red hair, uh, you notice the only thing of hers they seem to have left her was the goggles she's wearing on her head. The what? She's wearing goggles on her head. Not, not over eyes, but on her head. Kind of like how Sean Denolar is usually pictured? Yes. Uh, but, and you know, she's got, uh, kind of, not quite bob cut red hair, but kind of close to that. She's like, oh, I can breathe again. Thank you, by the way. No problem. You see her kind of look to her left. Now, where is. Oh, there he is. Hey, Kaden, you okay? <coughs> yes, you can keep it down, thankfully. I just know is Kotzi going to be searching the other guy over here, and are you the guy by you, Oriana? I figured Kotzi would have searched him by now. I wouldn't be surprised. Hello? Hello? Um, did you, are you searching that body next to the prison you freed, or no? Yes! And as you do it, the prisoner stabs you at the back. Um, as you begin searching his body, other than the clothes he's wearing and the kind of crappily made weapons he's wielding, you don't find too much. Um, you do, however, find um, uh, tucked away in his boot, uh, he did happen to have what seemed like some kind of a stone, but it's in like a half circle shape. A stone in a half circle shape? Yeah, so like if you cut a uh, circle in half. Okay. It, it's only about the, like the size of your palm. I'll take that. Right. I'll take a look at it later. And as you guys are kind of doing your things, you know, the prisoners kind of kind of shift more into the center of everybody and being speaking to each other. Coffee, you gonna search that dude? I think he's away at the moment. What? Oh, there he is. I was asking if you were gonna search the last dude. 
This dude over here. This dude over here. Oh, pressure searched him. No, I didn't. I only searched. So you got the other three. Yeah. I thought you searched everyone up here. Nope. He said he searched. No, I want my dagger. I'm pissed and staring at you still. Okay, I'll search this guy then. <laughs> okay, while he's searching that body, I'll actually catch the up. Starting with the dagger. Wait, so you're doing what? He's identifying the dagger. Holy shit, that's an expensive ass spell. It doesn't consume the pool, though. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, oh, oh. 100 gold every time you do it? Yeah, I don't think I'd be doing it so freely if <laughs> it cost that much. Yeah, dude, that'd be. That's if you were to do it as a ritual. Which doesn't consume a spell slot. Um. Right? Uh, wait, what is what? The component cost. The, co um, the if component. You have an focus is ignored. Gotcha, yeah. Except it does not ignore anything that has, like, a gold piece price. Right. And unless it says it consumes it, which, m yeah. like, the spell will say it, um. Then you still keep the thing after you cast it. Yep. So, like with this one, a, a pearl worth at least 100 gold pieces. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like, if you had an arcane focus, you wouldn't need the owl feather, but you'd still need the pearl. Yep. So, essentially, it's, it's reserved for particularly special components. Yeah. What if you don't have that stuff then? Which, I, as you say, I know I've cast it before. By the way, these two are talking, right? Uh, the two in the middle? Yes. Can I overhear them? Uh, sure, you're gonna listen in. Uh -huh. Alright, so as you listen in, uh... <clears throat> Still sulking. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a mess. Uh, at least you're in one piece. I'm in one piece. Um, I don't have any of my things. <laughs> Your things, yes, yes. Your 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 contraptions and your gizmos. I would like my weapons back, but I'm not getting those back. So, how will we call it what it is? We're in the middle of nowhere. We just got rescued by strangers. God bless their souls. But we're still fucked because we have nothing on us and not a cold to our name. Well. Yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, no, yeah, that's bad. Um, at, whenever they complain about weapons, I'm gonna walk over with, like, two of the axes the barbarians had, hand one to each, and go back to searching the sky. You see the... Kavi, <laughs> you can now hear the, the gentleman there. Well, I guess this is better than nothing. At least so I can... Fashion myself with something a little more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, and then she's like, This? What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> you hit things. You see her, <laughs> she's just kind of staring at it. Uh... Let me know when the, I'm done identifying the first the dagger. Also, right, what I found on this guy. Up. Okay. Um, I guess before I thought, I guess the last thing in the conversation. You see him get behind her, and he's like, okay, you hold it this way, and you hit him with this piece. <laughs> um, as far as uh, what you find on that guy, uh, you find... Uh, he actually had on him... Um, About four gold pieces. Um, he had dropped his weapon earlier, uh, 
but he was clutching his uh, in his palm before he died. Um, what looks like a st uh, another st a stone that's in a half circle shape. Who did? Uh, the guy that Crusher is searching. Right. I'm going to take the stone in the half circle, and I'm going to chew on it to see if it does anything. <laughs> As you chew on it, you do feel it kind of slowly giving way under the pressure of you chewing. Oh, alright, I'll stop and put it back in my pack. So he got one half and I got one half. Alright, but we don't know that. Yep. And yeah, neither of you know what the other found. Um, by the way, huh? does this count as a short rest? No. It's not going to be long enough. Um... But he, so, I was going to recommend we uh, take the fire after we were done here anyway. Uh, Mystify, as you begin uh, looking at and kind of admiring the dagger, giving it a look over, um, you do notice there it's got a nice black design to it. Um, and it's got this like blue light stone trail across where the guard is, and a little bit up the blade, and at the very pommel of it is an aquamarine. That's all I find out about it? Hmm. As you begin kind of feeling it, like, you're, okay, you, know, you feel something from this. Something's not right with it. And you feel it. Tff, one second it looks like a dagger. Now it looks like a more extended longsword with the same color scheme and the blue light all the way up the blade. Damn. And then just kind of magically retracts back in. Is this that is the an, knife that uh, Kido wants so bad? Yep. This is an aquamarine dagger. This dagger is fitted with an aquamarine crystal into its pommel, with small sliver, uh, slivers in its blade. You have a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls even with this magic weapon. Oh. As a bonus action, you can activate the magic uh, within the aquamarine crystal, transforming the weapon into a longsword with magical blue crystals. However, while in this form, the weapon deals force damage as opposed to slashing damage. The weapon can stay in this crystalline form for up to ten minutes. Once this uh, property of this dagger has been used, it cannot be used again until the next dawn. Plus two to hit and damage. Yeah, that's nice. I you know what the dagger was. I toss it over to um, Coffee and let him know it changes. Thank you. Are you just going to have a dagger collection now? Hmm? Are you just going to have a dagger collection now? Pretty much. By the way, there's the link for the description of that dagger. Okay, thanks. And what about the domino piece? Yeah, I just said I'd now do it on the domino. Alright. Alright, so as you examine the domino piece, uh, you realize what it is, is it, um, this domino use is used as a, uh, kind of a magical storage item. So what it does is, uh, I forgot the name of the actual item, but basically you can c uh, cast a spell, and instead of actually casting it, it stores it into the domino. Oh, it's basically a domino with spell scoring. Yes. Though currently there is no spell within it. Okay. Do I know how many levels? Um, how far up we can go? Yeah. Uh, this domino actually stops at fourth level. So I can go to the spell. 
say again? I said, so basically I can go to four levels of spells. Yep. Oh, and a uh, fun little thing. If you cast it in there, I could use it. I know. As long as you're not raging, at least. Yeah. That would be really good to have healing in it. So that way, if yeah. like... I, I also just thought of something. What if she put a... Um, cast spiritual, spiritual weapon into it and we gave it to you. You cast the spiritual weapon... Yeah, because I don't really use my bonus action for anything. <laughs> like, I go in... Yeah. Uh, but I was thinking, like, having healing in it so that way if she goes down for some reason, I could bring her back up. Well, I'll hand it... Since you're right there, I'll hand it back to you and tell you when full, let you do magic. Magic! Am I going to be wizard? It's empty right now. <laughs> Come see us tomorrow. Oh, I forgot to play something for you guys because of this. Oh. Alright. Uh, but anywho, so that's essentially the uh, items you guys found, things on the bodies. Uh, two individuals just kind of talking amongst each other still. Alright, I, I say we take a, a small rack here. Let's go off just the way and rest for a bit. So will this be a short rest? Basically, I'm asking for at least a short rest. I need a short rest. I need a long. You don't get anything back on, uh... Nope. Yeah, because clerics don't... Um... I don't get any of my spells back unless I do a long rest. You can take a long rest, I guess. Mm -hmm. We had to start over. Yep. Got interrupted. But hey, we found the place. Yeah, we're here. Oh yeah, but in case I didn't make this clear, I went over with the portable ho hole and I just kinda like scooped up bodies. Alright, so you just bamoose these? Yeah. Alright, before you do that, let me tally up uh, XP for you guys here. Hey. Where's my phone? Get wait to cast spells and shit. Uh, each you add three hundred and sixty four. So. so you got three hundred and sixty four? Yep. That's the total. Seventy five thirty nine? Yeah, I can't so you use it wrong. Alright, 
so I can't use the domino while waging because I can't cast spells while waging. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've heard of, I believe, a couple times from like Nerdarchy or FDM, one of the two. Uh huh. Um, like they're talking about like multi-classing, like barbarian spellcaster, like a warlock or something, and casting all this stuff that doesn't require concentration but has a duration on it. Before he goes into a rage. Uh-huh. And then going into a rage. Like a uh, spiritual weapon. Yep. <laughs> you cast that, it's there until it's done. Or you dispel it. Yep. And so with all that settled, um, uh, the pair actually just kind of turned towards you all. Um, it goes without saying, we owe you our thanks again, and, uh, if you would be so kind, I'd like to know the name of our rescuers. You can call me Mystify, as I think about. Kindly returns the bow. The red haired lady just kind of. Just kind of. <laughs> you see her just kind of cover her mouth. I, uh. I go over and, uh. Climb my way back to my normal seat on Crusher's shoulder and say, Name's Kobe. And this is Crusher. <laughs> kind of tap him on the head. Well, at least the most of you got some impressive names. I only hope mine lives up to the same. Oh, don't be like that. They rescued us. And I don't believe we got yours. I'm just point to Oriana. Uh, the name is Oriana. The red girl just gives you a polite bow. Well, oh, allow me to introduce us. I am Robin Cuesta, and this year is my partner, Kaden Welsh. Oh, you have to give him my last name, don't you? Well, it's only polite. He gave you my full name. Well, I am truly sorry about that. I only go by Mr. Pike first. So, what brings you all out here? I'm pretty sure no one's sent for rescue for us. This guy here, as I point over to um, Crusher. He, he got a job to take out some bandits and he got us bail. So we were saved out of sheer dumb luck. Now that is something. I work for military. And so Robin just kind of uh, rushes up to you and just starts giving you a hug. Oh! And she kind of like takes her hand, just kind of taps, you know, your your torso region. Oh, this is solid. And here I thought it was just a show. Uh, oh. <laughs> I take my last sack of potatoes. I put them in my mouth, and I hand her a handful oh. of French fries. <laughs> She's just holding the basket right now, just like, wide-eyed. Uh, as you say, I guess he's too. kind of like Tinker, so he, he'd be completely fascinated, fascinated by her. Or, she'd be completely fascinated by him. Believe me, right now she's looking at the fries and looking inside. Um, can you, can this remain open for a second? I'll leave it open. She kind of like 
puts her head in just a little bit, kind of looks around. Oh, this is wonderful. I was thinking of something kind of like this, but not quite. Um, oh, I could learn so much from you. Hey, Robin. It's, uh, not polite to be poking inside people. <laughs> she kind of poked out. What do you mean? You poke people with weapons all the time. <laughs> That's different. Hmm. Hold that thought. Potatoes. Don't worry, we'll get you more. You're out. You had two bags. I, I used the first bag last night and second bag just now. Oh, we didn't need a whole bag of potatoes for dinner. Hey. Some of it has to be, like, broken down and stuff, and used for energy to cook them. Gosh. Okay. 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 I'm not 100% efficient. I see that. Hey, it's okay. Alright, I'm back. I'm gonna come back. What'd I miss? Uh, potato talk. He's out of potatoes. Oh. Seeing as Robin's still holding uh, the basket of uh, fries right now, she's uh, just gonna takes one and just... Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. I also do ketchup. Uh... Do I even want to question how that's made? Or more importantly, how it's seasoned? You I just stare at her. Shove a fry in his mouth. What's the question? It's good. The seasoning is a um. secret. Oh, Sean. Yep. Where exactly was the end that he, they were trying to go to? Uh, uh, as far as the map goes, it's over this way. It's actually off the map. Okay, so bad trick. Okay, I'm gonna make the suggestion that we come over here to and like try to get out of the way, whatever, and rest, relax. Uh, quick question: Are we going to keep going, or are we going to heal? I'm good to go all night, but. Uh, is anyone else feeling like we need to clock out sooner?